Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can send campaigns. So this is going to be a quick tutorial because I will still cover this when I get to the section about campaigns. I'm just doing this so that if you already have your list, you've just imported your list, you can see how you can send your campaigns out to your subscribers. So just as a reiteration, I'm going to cover this later on when we get to the section about campaigns, automations and landing pages. So let's get started. If you want to create a campaign, you'll just come here inside of create. You can use this button. You can use this. You can go inside of campaigns. Let's go inside of campaigns. So on the campaigns dashboard, you can see that you your campaigns, automations, landing pages, all of them will be listed on this page. For now, let's just see how we can create a campaign and I will click on the create campaign button. You can see that we can create an email, we can create an ad, we can create a landing page and there's this new one for create a postcard which will enable you to send physical postcards to physical addresses. So in this video, we want to see how we can create a campaign. So I'm going to click on create an email. So once you click on this, you'll see that you can create regular campaigns. You can create automations. You can create a plain text. Now a plain text doesn't have anything else. It's just, it just has the text. You can also do A-B tests. If you want to create A-B tests, then this is where you'll do it. But for this video, let's see how you can create a regular campaign. And a regular campaign is a one-time campaign which uses the MailChimp templates. So let's call this one sample campaign. And then I'll just click on begin. So you can see for me, it automatically brought me here, but I can click on template to go back and enable me choose a template. Okay, so when you're here, you can choose any template that you want to use. Let's say that I want to use this, so I can just click on it to select it and I will click on change template. And then you can design your template however you want. You can design your email however you want. You can just click here. If you want to add an image, you can click on replace and you'll be able to add your logo. Let me click on upload to upload some images that I can use in this example. So you can see all my images have been uploaded here and you can just click here to upload. Yeah, you can also import. You can also click here to import from a URL. Just put the URL that you want to import from. Let's say I want to import this image, then I can just copy the URL on my browser here. Copy image URL, copy image address. And then if I come here, I can paste in that and then import. And it's going to start uploading it there. So it, autom it automatically brought me back here, but you can go back in here by just coming here. So I want to choose a logo. I can use this and I will just click on insert. And you can see the logo has been uploaded. So one thing you need to understand with MailChimp is that if you want your email templates, your emails to be responsive, meaning that for them to show nicely on even smaller devices, you're going to make sure that this image is at least is less than 600 pixels wide. So that's just that, but we're going to see later on how we can add some CSS on this template. But for now, let's just edit this. I can click here to edit. Just click there and you can edit your template. I'm not going to change much here. I just want to change it so that when I try to publish it, MailChimp will not give me errors. So I'm just going to do it this way and I can convert this into list items. Okay, so here also I'm going to edit this one so that we don't get any warnings from MailChimp that we haven't edited the default text. I'm just going to make this one also ordered list items and then I can add an image here then you just click on browse to upload an image. Let's say the image that I want to use is this one. Then I'll insert the image. So you can see that the image is too big. 
so what you can do is you can reduce the width of this image using Photoshop or any photo editor in this case you can also edit it here on MailChimp you could also edit it on MailChimp just by clicking on edit so first of all let me save and close this and then I'm going to come back here so let me just leave it as it is for now because this is not a real email that I'll be sending out so I'm just showing you how you can send how you can create and send campaigns in a quick video so let me change the link here let me edit click on edit and then I can change the link if I just select it I can click on the link and you can add different types of links if you want to give a download link you can add a file you can upload it and then add the file and then you can do an anchor link email address so we're going to do a web address and let me just add the link that I last had for the image and I will insert that and for this one let me remove the link and I will save and close so for this one you will have to add your your URLs there your Facebook URL all of them if you want to add another service go ahead and add it okay you can add any other service here you have Dribbble you have Spotify Reddit you can add the links there so I'm going to click and save and then down here so these are the important the important details that have got to be on your email list so here you can see we have we have your mailing address this is going to add your mailing address let me click on it so that we can edit it we can see it on this side so this is going to add the year your company the list the list name for your company and then all this all this copyright information and then the page for your the archive page and then the list description how did people join your list and then our mailing address this is going to give the address for your mailing list and I showed you where you can change this address by just going into your account settings under list you will see the address that will be shown here you can also change the same in the list so if rewards this basically means if you're on the free plan then show rewards show the monkey rewards that is the the MailChimp logo so HTML rewards and then you end that so if you want to add anything else here you can just do so by using this editor right here and then I'm going to save and close and all of these elements you can edit them if you want to you can just come here under styles and you can see the text the color for the text you can change everything here so if you want to change anything about the text the text block you can just come in here and you'll be able to change the styles for your text block just come in here and see what you can change you see you can change the sizes the color and you can also change the styles for the fonts so that's pretty much it for this one I'll just click on save and close and if you want to use if you want to use personalization in your email maybe let's say here you want to say hey first name and then you want to personalize this you're going to use the merge tags here you'll just click here on merge tags and you can add the merge tag you see these are all the merge tags that you have so here we only have the member data we only have the email address we don't have first name last name and I don't know why that's not showing up here but we can if we can remember clearly let's say we choose this and you go to your name and you have if you have a, a field with first name you can get the merge tag there and you'll just come in here and change it based on that merge tag so if this was a first name based on your mail and I showed you where you can see all the merge tags for your list go to the section about list settings you'll see something about merge tags there list defaults and merge tags you're going to find this so that's pretty much it for this and I'll just save this and close and I can preview and test the email so if I click here enter preview mode so assuming that this was your campaign this is basically how it would appear on on the email client on desktop devices 
so if i click on this i don't know whether it's going to show me this because there was an issue with this it didn't even show on the editor so probably there won't be anything there to show like for that you see it's not showing even after i click on this but this is only visible when you send the campaign so let me see how it will be on a mobile device so this is how it tells you it's going to show up on a mobile device but in most cases this is not how it's really going to appear you'll have to test it manually to just see how it appears on your phone and if you see that there's any issues then you you may need to edit it in most cases in most cases if it doesn't show up responsively on small devices it's probably because of an image which is larger than 600 pixels so you may need to change that image or I'm going to show you how you can add some CSS. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. And I'll show you that when you get to this section about campaigns. Okay, so let me just close this. So if you want to send yourself a test, just come back here and you send yourself a test. Send yourself a test email. Maybe you're designing this for someone else and you can send them the test as well just put in their email address and then you click on send so after sending myself the test email i checked and the image the email is actually responsive on my android phone so if i look at it on the gmail client it's responsive unfortunately since i used the default text it automatically went into my spam folder and this was removed automatically all right so once you're done designing your email the next thing you can do is you can go to the next step so you can also use some of this content okay if you want to add anything to your email these are all the blocks that you can add if you connect your account to your store to your online store then you can add any of these products promo codes all of this you can use them on this side we have buttons if you want to add links you can add buttons okay so i'll go to the next step and i'll do that by clicking on save and close and also if you like this you can save it as a template everything seems to be okay except for the content okay so the default content is still being shown so i can resolve this Okay, after making those changes, I can see that everything is now all right. And you can still edit your design. If you want to edit anything, just click here to go and edit your design. You can add your recipients. So these are the people you're sending to. Are you sending to a list? You can choose the list you want to send to. And then you can personalize the two field. Select a match tag, F name, last name, that's first name, first name and last name. So when they receive, it will contain their first name and last name. Or you can also send to a segment. When you're sending to a segment, you can use any of these segments. And I showed you how to create segments. So if you choose this, it will only be sent to this segment. Or you can also send to a group. First of all, you select group or new segment, and then you select contacts match any and here you'll come and select the group and for us that was a group group is you can send to either the home use group or to the to sell group so that's only if you want to send to to a segment or a group but if you want to send to the entire list you can just click here all subscribers on the list and you'll just choose your list right there and then just with that you can click on save and once you click on save you can go to the next item and add the from so the from is your name your email address just add that click on save and then the next thing is subject what is it about so write that there you can also add a preview text something that they'll see before they open the email so you can click that to save and then once you're done with all this basically your campaign is ready to be sent and if you want to connect to Facebook, you can do that. You can connect to Twitter as well. And the campaign will automatically get shared to these platforms that you connect. Once you do this, 
you can decide do you want to send it now if you want to send it now you'll just click on send if you want to schedule you'll click on schedule so let's say that I want to send it right now I'll just click on send and it will alert you asking you if you want to send and once you click on send your campaign will be sent out so that's pretty much it for this video and in this video what you've learned you've learned just a quick tutorial how you can send campaigns in MailChimp. So in the next video, we're going to come back into campaigns. And when we get back here, we're going to go into create campaigns and we're going to see something about how to create, how to create automations. So this is just a quick section that allows you to quickly send a campaign or to quickly create an automation. If you already have a list and you don't want to go through the entire course just waiting for that part. So in the next video, that's what we are going to do. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to show you how you can create an automation as well. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel very free to let me know. I will see you in the next one.